Hello, and welcome to C Note. In this video, we'll learn how to find the current through each resistor. To find the current flowing through each resistor, we first need to calculate the equivalent resistance of the circuit. So now, let's take a look at how the current flows through the circuit. To make things easier, let's label the points as A, B, C, and D. First, we find the equivalent resistance between points B and C. The entire current that comes to point B splits into two paths. Since the current divides between the 3 ohm and 6 ohm resistors, they are connected in parallel. Now, substituting the values into the formula, we get the answer 2 ohms. We can now simplify the circuit like this. After simplifying the circuit, you can see that the same current flows through all three resistors. This means, they are connected in series. After simply adding the resistor values together, we get the equivalent resistance as 8 ohm. Now we can say, the equivalent resistance of the circuit is 8 ohm. Now that we know the equivalent resistance, let's calculate the current in the circuit. According to Ohm's law, V equals I times R, to find the current. We rearrange the formula as I equals V divided by R, substituting the values. We get the current is 3 amperes. As you saw earlier, the entire current flows through the 2 ohm resistor. That means, 3 amperes pass through it. The 3 ampere current flowing to point B splits into two paths. We'll label them as, I1 and I2. To find I1 and I2, we first need to find the potential difference between points B and C. Since the 3 ohm and 6 ohm resistors are connected in parallel, they both have the same potential difference. Now that we know this, the equivalent resistance between points B and C is 2 ohms, and the total current in the circuit is 3 amperes. According to Ohm's law, the potential difference between points B and C is 6 volts. So, both the 3 ohm and 6 ohm resistors have a potential difference of 6 volts across them. Now, we can find that I1 and I2, according to Ohm's law, V equals I times R. So, we can rearrange the formula and write current as I equals V over R. So, I1 equals 6 volts divided by 3 ohms, which gives us 2 amperes. Now, for I2, that's 6 volts divided by 6 ohms, which gives 1 ampere. So, 2 amperes flow through the 3 ohm resistor, and 1 ampere flows through the 6 ohm resistor. Now, after the currents, I1 and I2 join at point C, they combine back into a single current of 3 amperes. So, the same 3 ampere current flows through the 4 ohm resistor. Let's now summarize the current through each resistor. 